Hello everybody, my name is Lumo and today, this is not the video I wanted nor expected to make, but it's a video that is happening regardless. Uh, it's not a YouTube drama video, oh man, no, 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 and also somewhat no. Uh, long and short, I decided I'd catch up on my Z's, and I did, and I didn't wake up in time to make today's video, so oops-a-doodly, here's a vlog. Sorry that it's not something interesting. Although that opening was quite something, Jesus. In case you can't tell, this is what Lumo looks like when he just woke up. I, I made breakfast and I haven't fixed my hair yet, so it's... It's this. It's insane. But no, so, ever since we reduced the content, you know, amount, so I could actually do stuff during the week, uh, it's been really, really nice, actually. I actually got to go out to a party last night. I haven't been able to see anyone in months, so that was good. That was actually, like, fantastic. Everything is... Everything is working out slowly but surely. I'm still ass busy, but it's now a manageable ass busy, which is why I didn't make a video. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm contradicting myself here, but like, I, I literally was, I came home last night at like 11 and I was like, I can wake up at 6 and make a video, or I can do it now and guarantee that it gets out, but I have to be quiet because my parents will be sleeping. And then when I got home, I got up and like, I'm just gonna risk the 6 o'clock, and then I proceeded to be unable to sleep, because I was too excited to make the video today. There's a lot of things wrong with that. But no, I, uh, in my excitement last night, I decided I'd rewatch the ending of, uh, Binding of Undertale the first time, not the desperate recall that, uh, led to some funny outcries. <laughs> but, uh... Fucking, nah, it was, that was some good editing on my part, I, it was weird to see the journey that we've had so far summarized in one rather simple and slightly touching montage. It, it sort of reminded me of a lot of what I used to do this for and why I still do it, but it was just like, I don't know, it hit me. It hit me pretty hard. Like, I saw all of the videos that I did for the different milestones just in brief flashes, and... I remember when I was editing that, I couldn't actually preview how it was coming out, because my computer just couldn't render it. <laughs> it couldn't do it live! It was- it was hilarious, and I just... I don't know, I miss that level of, I guess... Intimacy? Is that the right word? Sincerity? I mean, I'm still... I still try and be sincere. Sometimes it doesn't come across, like... When I say such words as, you know, the Undertale role-playing in the comments really wasn't that bad. But, <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying, like, it's weird and humbling to think about, you know? I also sort of figure out what's been going on recently in terms of, uh, you know, all the views and shit. And you guys might notice that we're getting half of what we used to. And I, I attribute this to two things. Midterms and school being in full swing, so people can only watch the big guys, because I've noticed Yub has only been getting half of what he should and normally does get as well. But I also have sort of realized that I've been really fucking depressing the past, like, month and a half. Like, oh, God, I'm sorry that all of you had to deal with that. Uh, it got to a point where I couldn't put on a mask. And I'm not putting one on right now, I'm actually pretty content with how things are, but... Uh, yeah, that was... Ooh. Oh! Well, that was not something an audience needs to see from their creator, just... Oh! Oh, oh, oh. So... For, if you're a smaller content creator, it's okay to pull the veil back a little bit. But don't open the full door, okay? Just sort of peek your head out through the crack to let them know that you're okay. Now then, convention schedule. So... Now, if you guys are aware of the New England convention scene, uh, I'm gonna be trying to hit up three major cons in this month. I'm gonna be trying to hit PAX. I'm gonna try hitting PAX East, of course. I might hit Anime Boston, depending on what friends want to go. And I might hit Kineticon. There's no real guarantee on those last two, but there's no way in hell that I miss PAX. But the issue here is I gotta score tickets. I was at work when the tickets went up and I couldn't get anyone to buy them for me. Condi and Moth already got their tickets. If Moth can get a press pass, I'm buying her tickets. 
Otherwise, I'm going to the eBay scalper scene. But either way, I am showing up. Uh, it'd be rad to see some of you guys there if you can actually make it there. If not, I completely understand. PAX is absolutely expensive, and I would not expect anyone to go just to see me. However, goddamn, last year meeting Mark and Jack was hilarious, and here's to hoping that even more spaghetti somehow fills out of our pockets now that I can get into the Polaris after party. Yeah, that's right. That's the one benefit to being with Maker now. But that's all I really had to say today. It's not really that long a video, it's just I wanted to give you guys a quick update since I can't do my original plan. So before I go, uh, I need to state something. You guys all remember Z Vanilla, but I did a few videos with him, really nice guy, really European. But he's doing a week-long charity thing with his buddies. They're playing through a lot of Final Fantasy games, doing Final Fantasy trivia and other jokes like that. So, if you want to check that out, all of the end slate cards should be that. So, that being said, my name has been Lumo, thank you so much for watching and supporting me through all my stupid bullshit, and as always, I hope to see you in the very next video. Goodbye, goodbye, mm-mm-mm.